In mathematics, specifically abstract algebra, the isomorphism theorems are three theorems that describe the relationship between quotients, homomorphisms, and subobjects. Versions of the theorems exist for groups, rings, vector spaces, modules, Lie algebras, and various other algebraic structures. In universal algebra, the isomorphism theorems can be generalized to the context of algebras and congruences. History The isomorphism theorems were formulated in some generality for homomorphisms of modules by Emmy Noether in her paper Abstracter auf bei der Idealtheorie in Algebraischen Zahl und Funktionenkorpern, which was published in 1927 in Mathematische Annalen. Less general versions of these theorems can be found in work of Richard Dedekind and previous papers by Noether. Three years later, B. L. van der Weyden published his Influential Algebra, the first abstract algebra textbook that took the group's rings fields approach to the subject. Van der Weyden credited lectures by Noether on group theory and Emil Artin on algebra, as well as a seminar conducted by Artin, Wilhelm Blaschke, Otto Schreier, and van der Weyden himself on ideals as the main references. The three isomorphism theorems, called homomorphism theorem, and two laws of isomorphism when applied to groups, appear explicitly. Groups We first state the three isomorphism theorems in the context of groups. Note that some sources switch the numbering of the second and third theorems. Another variation encountered in the literature, particularly in van der Weyden's algebra, is to call first isomorphism theorem the fundamental homomorphism theorem and consequently to decrement the numbering of the remaining isomorphism theorems by one. Finally, in the most extensive numbering scheme, the lattice theorem also known as the correspondence theorem is sometimes referred to as the fourth isomorphism theorem. Topic. Statement of the theorems Topic. First isomorphism theorem Let G and H be groups, and let Φ, GH be a homomorphism. Then The kernel of Φ is a normal subgroup of G The image of Φ is a subgroup of H, and the image of phi is isomorphic to the quotient group G, Ker, phi. In particular, if phi is surjective, then H is isomorphic to G, Ker, phi. Topic: <laughs> Second isomorphism theorem. Let G display style G be a group. Let S display style s be a subgroup of g display style g and let n display style n be a normal subgroup of g display style g then the following hold the product s n display style s n is a subgroup of G display style G the intersection s n display style s cap n is a normal subgroup of s display style s and the quotient groups s n n display style s n n and S S N display style S S cap N are isomorphic. Technically, it is not necessary for N display style N to be a normal subgroup as long as S display style S is a subgroup of the normalizer of 
n display style n in g display style g in this case the intersection s n display style s cap n is not a normal subgroup of g display style g but it is still a normal subgroup of s display style s this isomorphism theorem has been called the diamond theorem due to the shape of the resulting subgroup lattice with s n display style s n at the top s n display style s cap n at the bottom and with n display style n and s display style s to the sides it has even been called the parallelogram theorem because in the resulting subgroup lattice the two sides assumed to represent the quotient groups s n n display style s n n and s s n display style s s cap n r equal in the sense of isomorphism an example of the second isomorphism theorem gives an identity of projective linear groups setting g equals g l 2 c display style g equals g l underscore 2 math bound c the group of invertible 2 by 2 complex matrices s equals s l 2 c display style s equals s l underscore 2 math bound c the subgroup of determinant 1 matrices and n display style n the normal subgroup of scalar matrices C times I equals a zero zero A A element of C times Display style math bound C carrot times I equals left B I G L begin small matrix are in zero zero and a end small matrix big R a in math bound C carrot times right we have S N equals plus or minus I display style S cap N equals P M I where I display style I is the identity matrix and S N equals G L two C display style S N equals G L underscore two math bound C then the second isomorphism theorem states that p g l 2 c equals g l 2 c c times i s l 2 c plus or minus i equals p s l 2 c display style p g l underscore 2 math bound c equals g l underscore 2 math bound c math bound c caret times i kong s l underscore 2 math bound c p m i equals p s l underscore 2 math bound c topic third isomorphism theorem let g display style G be a group and n display style n a normal subgroup of G display style G then if K display style K is a subgroup of G display style G such that 
n k g display style n subset k subset g then k n display style k n is a subgroup of g n display style g n every subgroup of g n display style g n is of the form k n display style k n for some subgroup k display style k of g display style g such that n k g display style n subset k subset g if k display style k is a normal subgroup of g display style g such that n k g display style n subset k subset g then k n display style k n is a normal subgroup of g n display style g n every normal subgroup of g n display style g n is of the form k n display style k n for some normal subgroup k display style k of g display style g such that n k g display style n subset k subset g if k display style k is a normal subgroup of g display style g such that n k g display style n subset k subset g then the quotient group g n k n display style g n k n is isomorphic to g k display style g k w r scott calls it the freshman theorem because the result simply follows by cancellation of n display style n topic discussion the first isomorphism theorem can be expressed in category theoretical language by saying that the category of groups is normal epi mono factorizable in other words the normal epimorphisms and the monomorphisms form a factorization system for the category this is captured in the commutative diagram in the margin, which shows the objects and morphisms whose existence can be deduced from the morphism f g h The diagram shows that every morphism in the category of groups has a kernel in the category theoretical sense, the arbitrary morphism f factors into iota pi Display style iota circ pi, where iota is a monomorphism and pi is an epimorphism in a conormal category. All epimorphisms are normal. This is represented in the diagram by an object cur f display style cur f and a monomorphism kappa cur f g display style kappa cur f right arrow g kernels are always monomorphisms which complete the short exact sequence running from the lower left to the upper right of the diagram the use of the exact sequence convention saves us from having to draw the zero morphisms from cur 
f display style cur f to h display style h and g cur f display style g cur f if the sequence is right split i e there is a morphism sigma that maps g cur f display style g cur f to a pi preimage of itself then g is the semidirect product of the normal subgroup m kappa display style operator name m kappa and the subgroup m sigma display style operator name m sigma if it is left split i e there exists some rho g cur f display style rho g right arrow cur f such that rho kappa equals id cur f display style rho circ kappa equals operator name id underscore cur f then it must also be right split and m kappa times m sigma display style operator name m kappa times operator name m sigma is a direct product decomposition of g in general the existence of a right split does not imply the existence of a left split but in an abelian category such as the abelian groups left splits and right splits are equivalent by the splitting lemma and a right split is sufficient to produce a direct sum decomposition m kappa m sigma display style operator name m kappa o plus operator name m sigma in an abelian category all monomorphisms are also normal and the diagram may be extended by a second short exact sequence 0 g cur f h coca f 0 Display style zero right arrow g cur f right arrow h right arrow operator name coca f right arrow zero. In the second isomorphism theorem, the product S n is the join of S and n in the lattice of subgroups of G, while the intersection S n is the meet. The third isomorphism theorem is generalized by the nine lemma to abelian categories and more general maps between objects. Rings The statements of the theorems for rings are similar, with the notion of a normal subgroup replaced by the notion of an ideal. First isomorphism theorem Let R and S be rings, and let phi, R S be a ring homomorphism. Then the kernel of phi is an ideal of R. The image of phi is a subring of S, and the image of phi is isomorphic to the quotient ring R cur phi. In particular, if phi is surjective, then S is isomorphic to R cur phi. Topic: <laughs> Second isomorphism theorem. Let R be a ring. Let S be a subring of R, and let I be an ideal of R then the sum S plus I equals S plus I, S element of S, I element of I is a subring of R the intersection S I is an ideal of S, and the quotient rings S plus I, I and S, S I are isomorphic. Third isomorphism theorem Let R be a ring, and I an ideal of R. Then, if a display style a is a subring of R display style R, such that I a R 
display style i subset ek a subset ek r then a i display style a i is a subring of r i display style r i every subring of r i display style r i is of the form a i display style a i for some subring a display style a of r display style r such that i a r display style i subset ek a subset ek r if j display style j is an ideal of r display style r such that i j r display style i subset ek j subset ek r then j i display style j i is an ideal of r i display style r i every ideal of r i display style r i is of the form j i display style j i for some ideal j display style j of r display style r such that i j r display style i subset ek j subset ek r if j display style j is an ideal of r display style r such that i j r display style i subset ek j subset ek r then the quotient ring r i j i display style r i j i is isomorphic to r j display style r j topic modules The statements of the isomorphism theorems for modules are particularly simple, since it is possible to form a quotient module from any submodule. The isomorphism theorems for vector spaces modules over a field and abelian groups modules over Z are special cases of these. For finite dimensional vector spaces, all of these theorems follow from the rank nullity theorem. In the following, module will mean R module for some fixed ring R. Topic: <laughs> First isomorphism theorem. Let M and N be modules and let phi M N be a module homomorphism. Then the kernel of phi is a submodule of M. The image of phi is a submodule of N, and the image of phi is isomorphic to the quotient module M ker phi. In particular, if phi is surjective, then N is isomorphic to M ker phi. Topic: <laughs> Second isomorphism theorem. Let M be a module, and let S and T be submodules of M then the sum S plus T equals S plus T, S element of S, T element of T is a submodule of M the intersection S T is a submodule of M, and the quotient modules S plus T, T and S, S T are isomorphic. Third isomorphism theorem Let M be a module, T a submodule of M if S 
display style s is a submodule of m display style m such that t s m display style t subset s subset m then s t display style s t is a submodule of m t display style m t every submodule of m t display style m t is of the form s t display style s t for some submodule s display style s of m display style m such that t s m display style t subset s subset m if s display style s is a submodule of m display style m such that t s m display style t subset s subset m then the quotient module m t s t display style m t s t is isomorphic to m s display style m s topic general To generalize this to universal algebra, normal subgroups need to be replaced by congruence relations. A congruence on an algebra a display style a is an equivalence relation phi a times a display style phi subset a times a, which forms a subalgebra of times a display style a times a considered as an algebra with component wise operations one can make the set of equivalence classes a phi display style a phi into an algebra of the same type by defining the operations via representatives this will be well defined since phi Display style phi is a subalgebra of a times a display style a times a. The resulting structure is the quotient algebra. Topic: First isomorphism theorem. Let f a B display style f a right arrow b be an algebra homomorphism. Then the image of f display style f is a subalgebra of b display style b. The relation given by phi f x equals f y Display style phi f x equals f y, i.e. the kernel of f is a congruence on a display style a, and the algebras a phi display style a phi and m f display style operator name m f are isomorphic. Note that in the case of a group F X Topic F Y I F F F X Y minus one one so one recovers the notion of kernel used in group theory in this case. Topic 
Topic: <laughs> Second isomorphism theorem. Given an algebra a display style a a subalgebra b display style b of a display style a and a congruence phi display style phi on a display style a let phi b equals phi b times b display style phi underscore b equals phi cap b times b be the trace of phi display style phi in b display style b and b phi equals k element of a phi k b does not equal display style b caret phi equals k in a phi k cap b neq empty set the collection of equivalence classes that intersect b display style b then i phi B display style phi underscore B is a congruence on B display style B I I B phi display style B carrot phi is a subalgebra of a phi display style a phi and I I I the algebra B phi display style b caret phi is isomorphic to the algebra b phi b display style b phi underscore b topic third isomorphism theorem let Display style a be an algebra and phi psi display style phi psi two congruence relations on a display style a such that psi phi display style psi subset ek phi then phi psi equals a psi a psi a a element of phi equals psi phi psi minus one Display style phi psi equals a underscore psi a underscore psi sad face a a in phi equals underscore psi circ phi circ underscore psi carrot minus one is a congruence on a psi display style a psi and a phi display style a phi is isomorphic to a psi phi psi display style a psi phi psi topic see also butterfly lemma sometimes called the fourth isomorphism theorem equals equals notes